Hi, welcome to Swift Sense. I'm Debbie. And today I wanted to talk to you about a sort of up and coming clone house. Um, the owner is Jake Segreto. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing the name. Uh, right now it's available on Facebook group called Attack of the Fragrance Clones. And we purchased six of the different scents that I want to share with you. Two of them, we've actually done a wear test and uh, so I'm going to give you some feedback on that as well. The first one I'm going to talk to you about, this is a 30, middle, sorry, 30 milliliter bottle that we bought. This is his version of Creed Himalaya. And this, my husband wore this today and it performed equally as well as the Creed version. Oh man. To me, it's a little, this is a little bit of a fresher fragrance. You get some citrus notes kind of in the opening, but then as it dries, you get a little bit more of a sort of, sort of more of a grassy vibe to it. Um, basically, we got a good eight hours before it became more more or less like a skin scent. Um, but honestly, the oils or something in this must be a little more concentrated because it actually was a little stronger, I thought, than the Creed version. And you can purchase the 30 ml bo uh, bottle for roughly, I want to say with shipping, it's like $36 a bottle, which is pretty affordable as compared to the Creed version. The next one that we have, and I actually gave this a wear test today. This is Mephesto, I don't know if you can see. This is their version of Mephesto by Zerzhov. So let me go ahead and give that. Little spray. Wow, man! To me, this is this is pure heaven. Um, again, with this one, in comparison to the Zerzhov version, um, this one seems to project more. Now, as it dries, it doesn't project as much, um, but I still got a pretty good. I don't know, maybe like eight, seven or eight hours out of it. Um, before it became just a skin scent. I would still, you know, catch whiffs of it as I was moving around. Um, the Mephesto is a little bit more, it is to me kind of a freshy. Um, the interesting note that I pick up in here is iris. To me, iris, it's a flower, but it's not a sweet flower like, say, a rose. It's more, um, to me, it's like the petals. You kind of get that petal smell. But I like it. I think it's a very nice fragrance. And again, I like the Zerzhov version as well. But as it dries, it just seems like um, the Zerzhov version, I wore the Zerzhov on this side and I can still catch a little bit of it, but on the, um, the version from the Attack of the Fragrance clone, clones is, it's not there anymore, but it's been, 10 hours, sorry, 12 hours since I put that on and it's only finally just gone away. The next one that I have, and I don't have anything to compare this to, so I'm just gonna give you my first impressions. This is Zerzhoff's 40 Knots. I haven't ever smelled that one either, so again, just first impressions here, just to see what I get. I don't know what the notes are in this, but to me it's it's kind of sweet, but to me also a little bit like honey tobacco, but that may not be right. I don't know what the notes are in this, but to me it's a, a warmer scent. I like it though. I, you know, I might give that a wear test tomorrow just to um, kind of see how that one goes, but I was pretty pleased so far with the Himalaya and the Mephesto. Now the next one is Udin. We actually got this in a little bit ago and when I sprayed it on the back of my hand, and I don't know if it's because my skin was dry or something, but it actually kind of burned my skin. So I'm tempted to give it a little spray just to see if maybe it was just my skin was irritated that day. So I'm gonna give it a spray. So it's okay now, so it must have just been my skin was really dry that day or something. 
Um, the Udin, it's a little bit of a stronger scent to me. Kind of earthy. I don't want to say like, it's not like in Primus where you get a dirt smell, but um, it's more, it reminds me of being in the woods after it rains. Um, very nice, so I like that a lot. I haven't smelled the original, but it might be worth trying out. This next one is their version of Roja Dove's Britannia. I haven't smelled that one yet either, but I'm going to give you my first impressions of this one. We do have other Roja Dove fragrances in our collection, so... Wow. That's really nice. To me, this is... Um, it's kind of a sweet floral to me on the opening. I really like that. I think that might be something I might be interested in. Um, but I tend to like more of the floral notes, the sweet notes, the fruity notes. I tend to gravitate towards those. So that might be something I need to think about adding. I do like that scent. Um, I'm not sure about the performance. I haven't given it a wear test. Um, but I think that might be worth looking into. All right, this last one is Roja Dove, and that is Danger. We had a sample of this that we had gotten a long time ago from Neiman Marcus, the original Danger, but I think either it's been used or it's been rehomed. So I don't have anything to compare this to, but I do remember that when we sprayed it, um, I told my husband he needed to get that because I loved it. Now this one kind of, to me, it's this is a warmer kind of a spicy scent. And this particular one, out of these six that I have here, this particular one seems to sit a little closer to the strip than what some of these other ones did. Still a nice manly scent and kind of spicy. I like it. I wish I could locate that danger sample that I had before so I could compare that too. So out of the six that we have here, uh, like I say, the Mephesto and the Himalaya, we did get very good performance from those. Um, the scent on the opening and the dry down is, we basically did side by side. So I sprayed the um, Attack of the Fragrance clones on one side and the Zerzhoff or the Creed on the other side and, you know, just smelled throughout the day and the scents were very similar at the opening. The Attack of the Fragrance clones was a little stronger, but as it dried, um, not as much, but the scent is very identical. Um, thumbs up on that, dude. Um, again, about $36. We did purchase these. These are 100% my own opinions. Put your comments below. Maybe you've tried some of their um, their versions of other fragrances. Maybe you've tried some of these. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Put your comments below. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let your friends know. And I'll see you next time on Swift Sense.